We've got the police here now. G'day guys, welcome back to Lost to Recovery. Today, Dan and I are just about to team up for an underwater treasure hunt. It started off as just fun and games, finding lost treasures and removing trash from our oceans. But we weren't prepared on what was just about to happen. I'm now setting Dan up with the Nocta Macro Pulse Dive with the 8 inch coil and the Detect Ed modification which gives you 40% more detection reach. Now we're just going to go through the sensitivity modes up to level 4 and Dan mate, you are right to go. One day pass, it looks important. Let's find the owner. Excuse me, mate. Is that your day pass? Yeah, take a look. Yeah, is that your name on there? Get a close look. Yep, yeah, there you go, mate. It's not yours? No worries. I'll take it back. Thank you. You have a good day too. Bye. trash in there, let's clean it up. The ocean is full of awesome deadly predators. Now what's in here? Could it be a stonefish? I really gotta be careful where I place my hands. Whoa, what's that? It's Mr. Octopus. You scared me, buddy. He's only friendly. There you go, mate. Have a good one. This bin is full of sand and maybe even rocks. I don't know what's inside it. This is gonna be a two-man job. Wait there, guys. Let's go and get Dan from down under, Dan Diving. G'day Dan, thanks for coming over mate. This is gonna be a two man job. I don't know what's inside this really bin, but it's really bloody heavy. And watch our hands guys, it's really sharp. Now we are chewing through our oxygen supply like you wouldn't believe, trying to get this really bin out of the ocean. We are now 10 minutes into digging this really bin out of the ocean floor, but you can see we're only halfway there guys, and we're really not prepared on what's about to happen. Dan and I catch our breath and let the silt settle before we reboot, and now we're ready to lift this bin out of the sand. All right guys, let's do it. Two, one, let's go lift. It's still full of sand, guys, and it's still really bloody heavy. Good work, Dan, mate. Couldn't have done it without you. That's the first really bin, and I'm not looking forward to what we're going to find next. You can see this bin still has a serial number. Police might be able to use it to track exactly 
where the bin came from. Dan and I finished our first dive, unaware of what's about to happen on our second dive out. We pulled out two wheelie bins. Rib bone. So we're gonna contact the local police, get them down, come down, have a look at it. Hopefully it's not. That dead set looks like a rib bone to me. I used to hear stories about people going missing in wheelie bins. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, mate, we had um, an incident down in South Australia that uh, a couple of people ended up in wheelie bins and that's quite a historical kind of murder scene. We'll get it tested and see what we can find. So now what's the process? Local police, they'll come down, they'll take it, and they'll send it off for testing to the coroner. We've got the police here now. There you go, Michael. Have we found something? It was with the trash bins, and really not too sure. It does possibly look human. I don't know. In your opinion, have you seen human bones before or anything like that? Yeah, plenty. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of them. What do you think about that? The exact location. Yeah, it's right in front of the door. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. Look here. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.